Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkazunki. Welcome back to FTL. Uh, we're going to disregard the start a new game uh, screen there. So we're going to go ahead and go with the Taurus. And uh, we're going to try to see how this goes. So um, I did try a practice run on this ship. And that uh, was the run that I previously had saved. And let's just say it didn't go well. I died to the very first event I did in the entire game. Um, but what I've learned is this ship has uh, little to no firepower, so what you're going to need to do, looks like this guy has some burst lasers, that's a little bit worrying, um, you're going to need to use drones for combat, and that does sound difficult, and it kind of is, so that's what you got to do, I mean you have to use drones for combat, uh oh there's uh, enemies online, I'm going to have to try to take this guy out because he's going for my oxygen, not cool dude. Um, and if I can just get my ion blast firing at the uh, at his shields here, he'll have his shields offline and my drone can go in. But this ship starts out very, very weak. So the main thing that you're going for here when you're starting off with this Taurus ship is you have to get a new weapon as quickly as possible. We did take out this first ship fairly quickly, but don't be fooled. This ship is extremely weak and it struggles trying to take down enemies, in terms of combat at least. It does have some benefits to it, but the main thing, I'm going to put a little bit more power to the engines as well so we can dodge a bit easier. So the main thing that we're looking for here is um, a weapon as soon as possible. Buy a new weapon, and we'll have to probably put some more power in the engines, but... um, Okay, well, we got a little bit of scrap for doing that. We'll head to this nebula here. Hopefully it's not a pulsar, and it's something... We'll try to avoid provoking this ship for a little bit here. But of course you do want to kill ships for the most part early on. We're not going to surrender our crew members to slavers. That's a horrible idea. So we're going to have to take some uh, power off the medbay. Add some power to the drones. I think that's a fairly... I mean, luckily with this, sh this ship you do start out with quite a few drones. We'll just send our iron blast straight for the cannons. And if you give power to the drones, it automatically sends a drone to go attack them, which is nice. So I did get one of their weapons offline. And while they're going to repair that, I'll try to put their shields offline so my drone can get in there. If I can keep this one weapon offline, though... Oh, they're going to give us a crewman? We're going to take a crewman, and we're just going to get a free crewman for allowing them to leave. So we'll put that guy on shields, make our shields recharge a little bit quicker. So yeah, I mean, you're going to have to use drones for combat with this ship. For the first little while, anyway. And then uh, eventually you can get to a point where you don't... Oh, they want to... Two fuel for four missiles. No thanks. Sometimes if you say no, they'll, like, attack you for saying no. It's pretty crazy. But luckily they didn't in that instance. So since it's the first zone, we got to explore a little bit. Okay, well, um, the enemies are trying to escape here. So if we're going to get them, if we're going to kill these enemies, we're going to need to... Uh, Oh man, I was going to say target their engines, but they have a rocket. I really don't want to deal with a rocket right now, so I'm just going to hope that the um, the drone that I have going here, it did attack their oxygen. Oh, rocket's coming in. Oh, that rocket missed. That's really, really good. Okay, my ion is taking out their stuff. My drone is attacking their shields. Like These combat drones are really, really effective, I guess, against these lower-level enemy ships. It's pretty good. I'm liking it. And we're going to take down this ship just with the combat drone doing work. Maybe I underestimated this thing a little bit. And we got a weapon for destroying the enemy ship as well. So we're going to check this out. Oh, this is a self-teleporting explosive that damages systems and crew, but not the hull. Can target your own ship. Why would you want to target your own ship with that? I don't know. It does require missiles, though, so it makes the weapon a little bit less appealing. We'll explore a few more zones before we go ahead and move to the next sector. No signs of life here. Are you sure about that? Uh, I think we can go up here and then to the distress signal. Just trying to explore as many sections as possible. I am definitely not paying this guy anything. Okay, so adding power to the drones. Immediately getting some drones out there. We should hopefully get a lot of uh, drone parts from loot as well. He does have a rocket. That worries me just a little bit. So I'm going to try to get my ion to take out their weapons. My ion took out their laser, but not their rocket. I'm just going to auto-fire on the weapons. I want to keep their weapons down with my ion. Unfortunately, the ion doesn't do any hull damage, but it can 
essentially keep their weapons out of commission for a while. So I'll target their shields as well. So my combat drone, no, their weapons are going back up. We don't want this. Okay, so their engines are damaged. That's a pretty terrible offer. I'm not going to accept their surrender here. Just going to keep going at it. Hopefully take this enemy ship down. Okay, their weapons are pretty much destroyed at this uh, juncture. So it looks like this ion weapon does charge really, really fast. That's the good thing about it. So the combat drone can just go to town on the fella. And I think we got slightly better resources than if we had accepted their offer. Oh, I do want to go to that store, but... The fleet is advancing, so I don't know if that's a good idea. We're going to go to this distress beacon first, and then we're going to jump out of here. Added a quest marker. Oh, the quest marker is right here. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. I think we got space. We're going to try it. Three hull points repaired. And then we can buy stuff. Crew teleporter. Eh. Mind control. Mind control does sound useful, but one thing that... Man, like the main thing that I want to buy is just a new weapon, but allows the ship to jump to any previously. I'm looking at what are the what some of these augmentations do. They don't sound that useful. Mind control sounds like the only really good thing here. Hmm. We'll try it out. I mean, I've never used a mind control thingy before, so um, another thing that we might have to upgrade really quickly is our sensors. So that we can uh, see the interior of enemy ships because we're going to need that to use the mind control, I would imagine. And we have uh, 20 left over, 20 scrap left over. I don't think I can do anything with that, though. So I will have to take power off of something just to use my drones. I think this requires two power. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, let's go to the exit here. And what's in store for me? Um... It's a slave trader. It would sell me... I'm going to attack the slaver scum here. That's what we're going to do. And we're also going to try to use our mind control here. I'm going to need to take power off of something to add it to the drones so I can get some combat drones out. And we're going to use our ion blast. Just go for the weapons. And then I use our mind control to go for their pilot. How about that? And their pilot here is going to attack the engine and then he's gonna attack the dudes as well and so the dudes and the enemy ship will have to take care of the pilot so I don't know this mind control thing does sound fairly use useful I almost said useless it's I mean, it's definitely not useless so I'm just gonna keep my eye on thing going for the weapons so they can't do anything oh they can give us the dude that we almost killed Joel or I could destroy them I kinda want Joel though so, um, I guess Joel can, I don't know what he can do. I guess he can chill in the drone bay. Like, it's good to have some extra crew members because at some point you will start to lose them. I need to, uh, think about putting some scrap into power bars as well so that I can, uh, get more engines and all that. All right, jump to the next sector. The upper path looks, I'm not sure which of these paths looks friendlier. I guess the lower path looks slightly friendlier because we're going to be going through nebulas instead of going through rebel controlled sectors, but I'm not entirely sure which out of the two is better, to be honest. So one thing we have to do is get some scrap, always. Yeah, we're going to intervene here because um, that's just what we do, man. So going to auto fire this on the weapons and then mind control this guy on the shields. So he starts to take out his own shields, which is just awesome. I guess uh, this dude chilling in the drone bay doesn't really do anything, so... Um, yeah, he's taking out his own shields. And he did damage his own shields pretty significantly, so the mind control wore off, but he destroyed the shields on his own ship um, in the meantime, so that's cool. We'll send this guy to the med bay. I'm failing to see... Oh, we're standing in the med bay, obviously. Okay, so... Um, I should be able to take down this enemy ship quickly. Like, this was no problem. Just wrecked this enemy ship. I'm loving this combat drone, man. It's so good. So, I got three fuel and an additional 22 scrap just for doing that. So, I'll take some power off of the mind control, add some power to the med bay just to get this dude healed up. And then I don't know where to send him back to because he's not doing anything up here. I guess, I mean, it's nice to have this guy just in case or in case we need some combat or something going on. All right, jump to the next sector. 
Oh, we're near a sun. This is never good. Intruders on board. See, this is why it's good to have multiple crewmen. I can just send everyone up here, I guess. Um, Allison here is getting fairly low health. I want to get her out of there. Charge up the med bay, and then the enemies will die quickly. And some solar flares can come in, but they're less likely to damage you if you have your shields up, which we do in this instance. Okay, cool. So the solar flare is imminent, but we can just jump out of here. We're going to take the lower path, try to meander a little bit, visit a lot of locations. Uh-oh. There is an enemy here. It doesn't look like he's uh, all that powerful, though. So we're just going to auto-fire for the weapons. Man, since we're in a storm here, we get less power. So there's not really a whole lot of stuff I can do, though. Um, I need to repair these weapons. You know, I'm not sure what I'm... Yeah, I'm going to just have to send a drone. Like, he doesn't even have any shield, so I might as well just send a drone out there. And I won't be able to keep his weapons offline, and if I start taking rockets, that's really not a good thing. But there's not really a whole lot I can do about it. He is targeting the weapon systems, but he does have his rockets up. Rockets firing my way would be bad. Oh, we're going to catch a rocket here. And it did cause a little bit of hole damage. But there's not really a whole lot we can do about that. You're going to be sent to weapons. You're going to be sent to shields. Just because we didn't have uh What's going on? Oh, we need to add power to the engines, of course. So being in those storms is never fun. Oh, and now an asteroid field. These can be bad as well. These can really mess you up. So first, allocate power to everything. And we're going to have to use our mine. Well, I guess, do they even have any crewmen on board? It doesn't really look like it. I can't see any anyway. Yeah, they don't even have any crewmen. This is um, just an auto hacker ship. I guess it's completely remote controlled. So, I mean, they did hack our doors, but it's still allowing me to operate the doors. So I don't think their uh, door hacking was all that effective, but it is what it is, right? We're still going to need to think about getting a weapon as soon as possible. I need to put out the fire in the oxygen room as quickly as possible as well. Oh, man. We do have, we're going to have asteroids hitting us, and the oxygen bay is offline, which means that I'm going to have to send some dudes to fix that as soon as possible. Because if the oxygen bay goes down, then you're in big trouble. So These guys can uh, go to the med bay as well to get healed up. I have one other guy that's really low HP. I'm not sure where he's at, though. Probably would help to add some power to the med bay so they can heal up, right? And this guy's getting healed, and he's not even in the med bay. I'm not sure what that's all about, but I'll take it. Okay, you go back to engines, you can just stay in the med bay. Uh, distress beacon. Sometimes can mean better rewards, sometimes doesn't always mean that. Um, okay, cool, we got an extra crewman for docking and trying to rescue the survivors, which is sick. His name's Jones. This is probably by far the most crewman I've ever had before. We'll have him hang out in the med bay as well. I don't really have anywhere else to put him at the moment, so... Um, I do have a lot of money for some upgrades, so it's time to make some. First of all, immediately get into the power bar so that I can do that. And then I have enough power to send out drones as well. Um, and then how much would it cost for... Two more power bars would be 50, and then upgrading shields twice. Yeah, I can get second layer shields. So we're going to do that as well. So we'll have two layers of shields now, much better defense. I'm down for that. All right. So... I think we'll go here, 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 and then exit. And hopefully find a store or something along the way and pick up some fuel. Again, like, we really need some offensive firepower as well. I'm making the same mistake I make every single run of FTL where I just don't worry too much about the offense. So I'm hoping that that won't come back to bite us. Like, I'm hoping that we'll be able to, like, anything from now on will be saved up to put some more power into weapons and then try to buy an additional weapon as well. And we'll see how that goes, right? But so far, this uh, combat drone has been working really well for us. Which it has to, because we don't have any other way to take out enemies. So, we do need the drone to deliver. Okay, 28 scrap. That's a good amount of scrap. We still need the uh, FTL drive to charge up. 
takes a little while because we don't have too much power in engines. It's always good to put power in engines as well because it allows you to dodge more shots. Okay, finally, here's a store. We will be able to buy some fuel. Um, there are some drone types that we can buy here. We'll just buy three fuel, though. I'm not too worried about the drones. I could probably sell this. Because it doesn't do hull damage, so what good does that do? I mean, we really need something that does hull damage in situations where the combat drone isn't effective. I mean, that's... That's all I need right now. Like, the ion can already damage systems. I got something for that. A large asteroid field nearby. Uh, well, we got nothing for it. That's unfortunate, but... I'm not too worried about it. We should be able to put out these fires pretty quickly just by opening the uh, outer doors. This ship looks like it's uh, fairly easy to put out fires with. The compartments are... really well compartmentalized. Apologies for the pun, but... I guess they can work on the sensors. I don't really know what that does for you when they're working on the sensors, but can this guy work on the doors? Make the doors more effective? I guess he can. Okay, so we might as well send them there. We can go to Uncharted Nebula or Mantis Homeworlds. We're going to go to the Nebula. And this can work well. Sometimes it cannot. So hopefully this, will, this time it will work fairly well. We're going to go to the store, definitely. Stores are always nice. Okay, so we do have a burst laser. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Two times damage on systemless rooms. Ooh, this one looks good. And it'll only costs five more. It only takes three more seconds to charge than the burst laser. But how much power does it require? This one requires two power. They both require two power. Um, I guess we'll go, hmm. we're just going to go with the whole laser because I typically aim for systems anyway. Okay, so we need, uh, two power, two additional power to use this burst laser. So I can probably just take the mind control offline where we are right now. And I'll have to buy some more weapon power and... Stuff to save up for. There's always stuff to save up for. We're only at two scrap at the moment. Oh no, there's another storm, so we're not going to have very much power here. Uh, we're going to have to take some power away from the shields. And, yeah, that's pretty much all we can do. I can't take the oxygen offline. I could take my shields completely offline, I guess. I don't know how much I want to do that, though. The drone doesn't fire fast enough, though, so I really do... I mean, I guess I can use this, right? I just need a weapon at the moment, so we won't be able to dodge anything with our engines offline, but I, I just do need something here, so. Okay, it did hit, get a hit on the engines, or th their weapons. One of their weapons is offline. That's good. Just a simple burst laser doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but okay, their engines are now offline. I can try to get their shields offline. I think um, these auto surveyors... Like the auto ships, they're not manned, so they shouldn't have any crew in order to fix their stuff. So, combat drone just took him out, though. It's all good. And I can take power away from the weapons, put it on the engines here, so I can jump. Alright, let's go here. Hopefully there's no more storms, so I won't have any uh, lack of power again. Prepare to chase them. Oh, I can't even attack. That's pretty lame. We'll go here. Still, I uh, feel it's starting to become a slight problem, I suppose. Yet another one of these auto ships. Um, it doesn't even have any shields. So you know what? I don't even think we need a, uh, a drone here. We can probably just... It's not even trying to attack. It's just trying to get away with its FTL. So I can probably just fire in some shots with my burst laser. Not even have to use up a drone. And just take these fools out. I did hit him in the pilot part, so their FTL was delayed. And I'll try to take out their weapons here so they can't do any damage to us. Okay, a couple more hits and they should be done for. Again, like, they can't fix their stuff because it's an auto ship. Does not have 
any crewmen to fix it. One more hit with the burst laser and they're done. So I'm really glad I purchased this burst laser, but I do want to buy some more power so I can use both the ion and the burst laser at the same time. Okay, got some missiles, got a drone part, which I'm all about. Um, and we're going to need two more weapon power and two more weapon power here as well. Man, that's really expensive, but we're going to have to do it somehow. Okay, let's visit a few more sectors. Hopefully we'll be able to kill some ships and loot some stuff. It's uh, generally the reason for going to all these places. Like, the fuel is just a worry, though. I need scrap. I really do. Okay, they have a drone out as well. That's worrying, but I'm going to send out a drone of my own. And then we're just going to get the ion. Yeah, I guess we'll fire it at their shields. Wasn't entirely sure. Like, this uh, enemy drone could be a little bit annoying. It is a uh, laser drone, so it won't be able to get through unless there's shields. But, I mean, we took out their weapons already, so it's fine. Drone can't even do anything to me. And the ion will just continue to fire um, at their shields, which unfortunately just doesn't do any damage to the hull, but the combat drone will take out the ship eventually. Couple more hits. We should be good. I'd like a nice amount of scrap, like 30 scrap from killing this guy would be awesome. We get 34 scrap. Wow, exactly what I asked for. Um, I'm going to get myself two more power bars. And now I just need to buy two more weapon bars as well. So 35 and 50. Wow, that's so expensive. I really need it, though. I really need um, to be able to use all my weapons here. If we're going to have any shot at making a decent run. Intruders on board. Uh, that's just annoying. We're just going to send everyone to the med bay, which is uh, what you do when intruders get on board. Another thing we could do, I suppose, is... I don't want them getting to the oxygen, but... I can just try to drown them with lack of air. Unfortunately, I can't see what the intruders are doing because, well, the sensors are offline. I just really hope they don't go for the oxygen. If they go for the oxygen, we're kind of screwed, but... Okay, the enemies are still alive. That's It's funny, they weren't dying that quickly, even though there's absolutely no air at all. Okay, we need uh, the medbay powered up so we can heal our dudes. And everyone should be fine, just gradually take out the intruders they're just humans not that worrying if they're like mantises or something i'd be a little bit more worried i can close up the doors wait a bit for air to flood through the ship again and then i'm gonna have to uh fix my shields before we go off adventuring hopefully that's good it looks uh, only pink instead of darker so I'll send three people in to fix the shields. Should be back up and running in no time. Man, I have so many bars of power. I just need uh, some scrap in order to buy some more weapon upgrades. Okay, engines are fixed. You can uh, work on the doors. You can work on sensors, which doesn't do anything since we're in a nebula, but oh well. I think I might even have too much power. Yeah, I have one power too much, but... Um, I will be adding some power to the weapons whenever I can afford to do that. So that was really annoying. Like, Intruders is the worst event that can happen to you because it doesn't do anything for you. It really doesn't. Okay, so we're going to take away some power. Uh, we need power to the oxygen. I guess we're going to do this. Ah, uh, they do have a... They can board our ship as well. That's worrying, but... Hopefully they won't. Hopefully they'll... Yeah, they boarded our ship. And what is this, dude? Giant gorilla man. His name's Grizzoli. And, uh... Looks like they took out our combat drone as well, so... I'm gonna need to add power... Oh my gosh. Well, uh... They caught us on fire. I'm gonna take the med bay offline at the moment. Oh, man. You need to fire here. Okay, these lasers are just completely wrecking us. Ekman is almost dead. 
live. You must. Lana is uh, surviving and, well, not thriving, but. Okay, there's another enemy online. On board our ship. These giant gorilla men just uh, do so much damage. I'm going to have our captain go and try to help take him out. At least he's attacking us in the med bay. It could be a lot worse. Okay, he went back to his own ship, presumably to repair it. There is a lot of fire in the door control. I need to get the doors fixed. That's a lot of scrap. So I am just going to accept their offer. I don't want to deal with these dudes anymore, so... They gave me 47 scrap for accepting their offer. I'm going to get my initial weapon upgrade. Okay, I just need 9 more scrap and then I can use both my weapons here at the same time, which I'm thrilled about, of course. Okay, we're just going to get all repaired up here before we jump. Oh no, there's fire! Is it spreading? To the, is it in the shields? Please tell me it's not. Okay, good. It's only in the uh, sensors room. Which, as long as I contain the fire, isn't really that big of a deal. I think the doors are on fire again. Yeah. The fire's like going back and forth. What's happening? Maybe I should have upgraded my doors or something. I think the, the fire can still spread even if your doors are upgraded. It just gives it less of a chance to do that. Okay. Ah, the fire is spread to the mind control units, which uh, mind control isn't useful if you can't see the enemy ship, so... I'm still hearing some fire, so I'm guessing there's oh there's some in the med bay. At least it is in the med bay, right? We're gonna try to put out the fires in these rooms, presuming there are some. And these guys aren't getting healed because the med bay's offline, obviously. But add some power to that med bay. I think we're good. I can't hear any more crackling sounds. Typically, you can hear crackling sounds when fires all throughout your ship. So that was really annoying. Having everything set on fire is frustrating to say the least, but we got through it. Um, oh yeah, we have to add some power to the engines in order to jump. Of course, it makes it only makes sense. Okay, there's nothing here apparently. Jump to the next sector, and like our hole is damaged. It is definitely damaged. That's ah, there's nothing here as, any as well. We're just going to jump to the next sector. I know there is a store there, but we really just need to get our weapons on. Nothing again. Wow. Okay, here's another store. Hopefully there's at least something to do here. Because it hasn't been the case. Uh, there's a combat drone. We have to buy fuel. We just have to. And we have to fix our hole a little bit. So there's all of our money wasted, which I was planning on using on uh, more interesting things. But we have immediate needs. So continue. Okay, they have two drones. That worries me. I can't use the mind control unit, unfortunately. All right. Got everything set up, I think. Um, I'm just going to go... Immediately for their shields. Actually, no, I'm gonna go for their drone control. If I could take that thing on offline. Okay, I did hit their drone control once. Their weapons are offline. And since it's an auto ship, I love fighting these auto ships because they just can't do anything to you. It's awesome. Okay, if he gave us like 50 scrap, this would be amazing. It really would be. I gotta take the shields offline with my ion weapon. Okay, this ship is just a sitting duck now. It's repairing itself somehow. Maybe it can repair itself even as an auto ship. I'm not really sure how that works, but... Okay. One more hit. You're down. That one went fairly easily. 46 scrap. That's a lot. I only need two more. And then we can use two weapons, my friends. I'm looking forward to doing that. Mind control. And we get three fuel. Cool. I don't even know um, with absolute certainty what I just did, but I will take three few free fuel any day of the week. Okay, cool. Cool beans. We got another one of these auto ships that uh, seem to be fairly easy to dispatch of most of the time. Oh, I want to go for their weapons first, man. Oh, they, uh, their hacking unit took out my weapons. That's not good. Can I still fire somehow? 
Okay, I'm not really sure what the hacking unit did. Maybe it just uh, slows. Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh no, I gotta get the oxygen repaired. I can't put out these fires yet. Okay, it, it looks like it just temporarily disables. Their hacking drone just temporarily disables my weapons sometimes, but we're good, we're good. Also, we could, we're finally able to use mind control again. Because we're out of the nebulas, where I wasn't able to do that. A couple more hits, and this auto drone is dead. Yes, sir. 34 scrap. You know what that means? Boom. Weapon upgrade. Boom. We can use both weapons at once. I'm thrilled with that. And my drones as well. So I'll just have to cycle power between the med bay and mind control, but that's fine. I'm not too worried about it. And as soon as everyone's all healed up, I'll put him back. I feel like I used to have one more crewman than this. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I believe I did lose someone, though. And that's... It happens, right? It's a battle out there. Except their bribe. Wow, three fuel and an augment. That's pretty good. Okay, and there weren't any side effects. Sometimes they attack you if you do that. So... Okay, this is why we have an augment that makes our crewmen heal outside of the med bay. That's why that was happening earlier. Alright, well, I'm excited to test out both of these weapons at the same time, but I'm not able to do that yet. So we can now know, I guess, from that latest augment, some things about the area, which is very nice. So I know that Nebula is in a storm right now, so I obviously won't go there, because dealing with storms is never fun. Oh, there's some more drones, but there's no... I'm just going to fix and buy some uh, fuel from that store, and we're good. Good to go. 14 fuel, 11 drone parts, 12 missiles. Like, we're doing really good on supplies. Oh, there's no enemies to fight. It's boring. Unvisited possible ship detected. Yeah, I want to fight a ship, so let's go for it. And there is a ship. Oh, boy. This one looks like a strong one, however. Um, we're going to use our mind control. Super shields block mind control. Is that so? What if I use my weapons to take down their shield? How about then? Actually, no, I probably want to use my iron weapon to go for the weapons because these weapons look scary. So. Um, it is a Zoltan cruiser, but they still have shields. Zoltan cruisers don't always have access to shields. So that's interesting. Okay, my iron weapon missed. Okay, I can use the mind control now, so I did mind control one of these enemies. Okay, it looks like they hit my combat drone. That's worrying. I'm not entirely sure what caused that. Okay, so he this enemy took out his um is starting to take out his own ship here, which is wonderful. Okay, so we want the ion weapon focusing, and this ship is toast. They are toast. Unfortunately, it takes a really long time for my burst laser to fire. We might want to get a weapon upgrade here eventually. After I save up some scrap, 31 scrap, thank you, sir. Or getting a missile-related weapon might be nice, too, because they're typically pretty powerful. Wow, we just get 48 scrap for free. What's going on this run? It's just getting really good things all the time for free. Like, I don't know why this is happening, but I'm digging it. Possible ship detected. Let's fight. Let's do battle. Okay, it's a pirate ship, and holy crap, it looks strong. Okay, obviously we're going to add power to the drones. Does this count as a... Sh uh, yeah, it's a super shield. So we have to take out the shield first. I'm going to have my high on go for the... No, I'm going to have everything go for the shields first. I might have to tank a couple hits, but I'm at full hull integrity, so that should be okay. Okay, as soon as the shield is down, we can use mind control, though. And I'm probably going to mind control this guy. So he starts to take out his own shields, which is nice. So yeah, uh, maybe I shouldn't have mind controlled an NG. Maybe I should have mind controlled a human. I'm not sure what I should have done, to be honest. Uh, our med bay is offline and our thing is on fire here. This is not good. I'm going to try to add some air in here. 
Uh, our weapons are damaged. There we go. No, I need to. I need to work on their weapons. Our weapons are damaged. Okay. Ah, man. Okay, we're just getting completely wrecked by this enemy ship. Like this shrapnel gun is uh, destroying us here. I'm gonna need to send you up to weapons, and you're gonna have to walk through. Okay, so just take a minute to take a chill pill. I'm gonna send out another combat drone. I'm not sure what happened to mine, but it got killed or something. But yeah, we really need stuff up and functioning at the moment. So yeah, we need uh, both weapons firing at their weapons because I really don't want their weapons online. And their weapons are online at the moment. It's bugging me. Okay, I also want to get that mind control fixed. That's not a good offer for surrender. They're almost dead, so I'm just gonna take out these fools. Although they did, yeah, we got some more scrap for not accepting their surrender. They did work against our ship, though. We got wrecked, fully and undeniably wrecked. So that's a little bit worrying. Um, I'll have to fix up my hole again the next time we reach a store, obviously. I'll send you down to fix stuff as well. And you as well. I mean, we're not going to head anywhere until everything's all fixed up. And then I'll add some power to the med bay. And thanks to my augmen, I'll be able to heal up uh, my crewmen even without them having to be in the med bay. It's pretty convenient. You should try it someday. All right. Our crewmen are healing up. I'm just going to hold on for a second until everyone's full health. I think they do heal up a little bit faster in the med bay, though. Maybe I should take advantage of some of these crew positions. Hotkey is uh, forward slash. Okay, we saved that. And then we just press uh, enter or return to return their, the crewmen to their current positions. Cool. I'll have to remember that in the future. Uh, there's a possible ship detected. I don't know. Last time we went to one of those locations was a possible ship detected. We got completely destroyed, so... 41 scrap for doing nothing. I like it. Okay, store. Uh, hopefully they have a really beast gun. They don't have a really beast gun. But I'll be able to completely fix my hole. I'll be able to buy some stuff. Okay, what do these do? Prevents enemy defense drones from targeting anything. Um, protects my ship from ion damage. These sound okay. None of them sound amazing, though, so I think I'm just going to pass, for the most part, buy a couple more fuel. I still have 100 scrap. I just don't know what to spend it on. I really... Oh, there's a couple distress beacons. Let's visit both of them. I really, really do want to... Hmm. I got 23 scrap at the small cost of only 4 whole damage. That's fine. Okay, we're going to visit this other distress beacon as well. Okay, let's attack the ship. They look strong. I uh, kind of may have not been expecting this. But, guess what, sir? Let's mind control a dude. Try to get him to take out the weapon systems. The mind control does seem like it's fairly effective. We need to uh, take out their weapons. I'm not really sure what those yellow bars mean. I guess it just shows how quickly their um, things are charging up, right? But... They're worrying me. Okay, I guess this ship wasn't nearly as dangerous as I initially thought. As soon as this mind control is up and ready to use again, I'll mind control this dude and try to get him to take out his own weapons. Which, there we go. Let's mind control him. They're trying to escape. We're not going to let that happen, of course. Uh, let's just go for the engines with my eye on. That's not that great of an offer of surrender. Like, it's it's okay. That's respectable. I'd probably be more than willing to accept that if I wasn't so greedy, but... So the enemy FTL is delayed. <laughs> Their ship is just in a bad way right now. One more, oh, a couple more hits. And they're down. Okay, well, that was a fight. Um, but we definitely won it. I think, uh, yeah, we got some extra scrap. More scrap than we would have gotten from accepting their offer of surrender. Okay, store, please be just a beast gun. That I can buy. Heavy laser 2. That sounds cool.
This does sound like a good laser. It requires three power. I could use this instead of my burst laser. It has about the same charge time, but it does a little bit more damage. But it fires two shots, and I think our burst laser, let's check. Oh, this only also only fires two shots. Okay, well, we'll sell that. We'll buy this. We could buy a hacking thing as well. Hmm. Hmm. Does uh, require drum parts to use, though, which I'm not all about that. Um, man. Well, I'll, I'll need some scrap to upgrade my weapons here, so... Man, that's so expensive. We'll do it. Okay, so now... I can use my heavy laser, so hopefully this will be a little bit more effective. Alright. Let's jump. Um, I guess this is the only place we can go, so let's go here. So yeah, the, this heavy laser is just a direct up, upgrade. Booby trap a cache. Only requires two missiles. Oh, that was dumb. All I did was delay the enemy fleet. I'm fine. The enemy fleet ain't bothering me. Um, I'm gonna attack the slaver scum and let's try out our new laser here. Let's go. You can go for the shields. You can mind control. I don't think we even need... Yeah, we're not even going to need a drone part here. We should be okay, I think. Okay, I'm excited to see what this heavy laser is going to do. Boom! Goes the dynamite. I think only one of the laser shots hit, but it looked like it did a good amount of damage. That was solid. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm very happy I made this uh, upgrade here. These ion weapons are very solid. Like, I used to not really see the ion weapons, the point of them. Um, they could give us a crewman. I think we need scrap more than we need crewman right now, though. So, I believe I did lose a crewman earlier. I must have missed it at the time when it happened, but that's fine. Like, I haven't really needed any. Just needed one of those shots to hit. Pirate Scout is dead. 61 scrap. See, this is why you don't always want to accept those uh, easy way outs. Man. Alright, well, I can visit here, which I'm going to do, and try to dispatch of an enemy ship. Attack the ship. Yeah, of course. Oh, they have a mantis, and they do have a teleporting bay. We really don't want that to happen, because uh, I'm not really much of a fan of mantises. They kind of irritate me. So, I'm going to mind control this mantis, though, and it's going to go straight for the shields, which is awesome. That's exactly what I was hoping was would happen. Okay, and I did hit their teleporting base, so it's uh, temporarily, anyway, going to be out of commission. I will go for their shields, I guess, with the... Oh, no. They intruded anyway, and they're going for the oxygen. Why would you do that? Okay, well, they're already in a bad way here. <laughs> yeah, my ion's going for the shields, taking out their shields, and my heavy laser. Two direct hits on the weapons. You're down. That was easy. 42... Scrap is a reward. Very nice. This heavy laser is just such a huge upgrade. Okay, we'll visit one more sector before we jump out of here. I have a, and I have, an, I have enough fuel to burn. So we got a drone recovery arm and forty-nine scrap because we have an NG crewman, and we're able to uh, persuade the enemies. These are not the droid parts you're looking for. It's probably something along the lines of what they said. Okay, we can go to Slug Controlled Nebula 1 or Slug Controlled Nebula 2. They both look like they lead the same path, so let's just go for number 1. They both uh, follow similar paths anyway. Distress Beacon. We're off to the rescue here. Refugees. We'll hail the refugees. Um, I don't need missiles, so what's the point of that? Oh, there's enemy ships. Man, there's so many nebulas here. This does worry me a little bit. Nebulas can potentially contain bad things. Attack. Yes, sir. Um, I... Okay, this enemy does look quite strong, in fact, but... Um, and I can't use my mind control, man. Or can I? Yeah, I can't use mind control at all in nebulas, which is just really saddening. Because our mind control has been so good for us. 
I guess I have to go for the shields with my heavy laser. I don't know. I don't see a whole other a whole lot of other options I have. So I'm trying to get the ion laser to. Uh, oh great! They killed our combat drone. That's like the last thing I wanted to happen. I could see this fight ending very badly for us. Let's just say that. And I hope it doesn't. Uh, they're probably going to start some fires here. So I'm gonna, oh no, oh no, oh no, the oxygen's down. And there's a fire in there too. Oh no. Just bad things are happening everywhere. Okay, their dumb shields are finally offline. So hopefully I can land a shot with my heavy laser and the weapons. Boom. Not accepting surrender. You're going to have to learn to deal with that. Okay, like one more good shot with our heavy laser and they should be just about dead. Well, one more on top of that one more actually, but we're getting close. I'm going to let air flow throughout the ship again before I... Uh... Yeah, it's dead. Okay, well, 64 scrap. Oh, I have 232 scrap. That's so much scrap. I don't think I've ever had this much scrap before. I'm a fan. So I will repair up these last two systems before we jump again, of course. Okay, we're all repaired up and ready to go. I think I'm going to put another dude in shields, and I'll add some uh, power to the health bay really quickly, just so my three injured crewmen at the moment can get healed up. Wow, some of these guys are starting to upgrade pretty good. And actually, this person... Crewmen do eventually upgrade over time as they uh, work on various things, and I've been... Switching crewmen around, which isn't always the best decision. Not intentionally, of course, but but as you do that, they'll level up and then get more proficient at doing things, I suppose. Oh, there's a couple stores. Not just one store, but two stores. And look, I have 232 scrap to spend, so let's see what we can see here. Okay. Okay, we can get some cloaking, we can get some hacking. Uh I think uh, we are interested in the hacking, but unfortunately that does require drone parts. I'm not sure which one I want to do, to be completely honest. The defense drones really don't look that good. I will buy a couple shields. I'll fix up my hole a little bit. I still have 200 scrap to spend. Like, the hacking sounds alright. I'm going to check out this other store, though, because that particular store didn't look amazing. Okay, this one has cloaking and backup battery and a crew teleporter. Still, not not all, not all this stuff looks great. Adding 60 to my evasion when I cloak the ship, though. It looks like both these stores have like the exact same stock as just one of them had hacking as well. Um, you know what we're gonna do instead is we're going to add a couple power to the engines. And now we're going to have an even better evade chance. So we have 30% evade. Heck, I could do like another one, I suppose. We'll do one more. So now we have 35% evade. So every single time uh, an enemy fires a shot at us, I think we have a 35% chance to dodge the shot. I think that's pretty good. So we're going to try that out and see how it goes. I'll visit like all these locations before we jump to the next area, which should be the final area as well. And there is a boss at the end. I have no idea um, if we'll be strong enough to take them out or anything, but we'll try it. Okay. Uh, I might as well send a drone. You know, why not? I still do have 13, well, 12 drone parts left after that one, I suppose. And we do get a fair amount of drones just from attacking enemies, so I think that's a good idea. We're taking out their shields a little bit. Oh my goodness, those lasers are so dangerous. I want to go for their weapons now. Um, I do not feel comfortable with all those weapons. No, I'm not going to accept surrender. They weren't even offering anything. They're just going to ask for surrender and not even offer me anything? That's kind of a raw deal, don't you think? So I just need to get my lasers in there. See you later. Bye, Felicia. 57 scrap, 3 fuel. It's a lot better than not getting anything, I would say. So we're going to go ahead and fix up our sensors. Not that it matters. We are in a nebula, of course. But just to say that they're all fixed up. And... Uh, all these nebulas are unfortunate because we can't use our mind control in them and oh well but um, man like that evade is so good 37% evade so this dude Jones must have leveled up he must have yeah I guess he did his engine skill went up 
So yeah, 37% chance to dodge every shot. So it's like essentially... Um, is this in a nebula? It's not in a nebula. We can finally use our mind control. Awesome. Uh, the enemy's cloaked, though. So I guess we just have to wait a little bit. Can we add power to our drones here? Okay, we could. We can. I don't know how long they're going to stay cloaked. But as soon as they get off the cloak, they better watch out. Because, man, I'm going to mind control them so hard. Oh. Okay, well, I'm going to have to fix the sensors before I can do that, in fact. But, <laughs> man, I just went in there with my missiles and just went ham. I love it. All right, so as soon as my sensors are fixed, I can mind control. Well, they're shielded now. That's disappointing. The cloaking is pretty good, I will admit. Can I? Oh, I can't get her with until the cloaking is done. I'm going to mind control the mantis because uh, he's the most powerful enemy, to my knowledge. I'm going to go repair my drone bay as well. Not that I really need to do it, but... And this ship is going to be down soon. There's uh, a breach in... Yeah, so I don't know. I guess their guys are going to die. Maybe not. It looks like there's an air breach in their hole. I guess not, though. As soon as their cloak is down, we should be able to mind control again. And, man, this ship is not long for this world. This is by far the most powerful I've ever been in this game, and I love it. Okay, mind controlled another dude. They only have one guy alive. Now their only guy alive is mind controlled by us. That's awesome. Uh, that's an okay offer for surrender, but I think we can do a little bit better. Um, every once in a while, they'll offer you more than you would get for actually destroying the ship, which makes no sense. How do they offer you more than you'd get from destroying their ship and looting it? I don't know, but that's a thing. But for the most part, I think that they are better just to destroy the ship and you get more loot that way, usually. And we got a little bit more scrap. Okay, well... 133 scrap, I don't really know what to do with that, but we have a good amount. We have a lot of missiles as well, so I think it would be cool to at least consider. I'm just going to go directly for the weapons here. Um, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Why is our oxygen offline? I need to jump as soon as possible. Unless I can take out this ship, like, very fast. I'm gonna need to jump. I'll just pay very close attention to the oxygen here. Okay, yeah, we're jumping. No, nope, we're still charging up. Never mind. I need to repair the oxygen. I don't know why the oxygen is offline, but it's worrying me. Okay, well, their shields are down, and I might be able to get their weapons down pretty soon here. So, maybe we'll be okay without oxygen? I don't know. I'll just have to keep a very close eye on it. Yeah, let's just jump. Let's not risk it. I'm not sure why the oxygen was offline, but that's worrying. <laughs> okay, the oxygen is starting to go up again. Cool. We're just not even going to deal with that. Oh, I guess there is one more sector. I lied. I, I thought this was going to be the last sector, but this is the second to last sector. Jump. That's in a nebula. Man, I don't like fighting the nebulas just because I can't mind control, obviously. So, Um... Four fuel and 70 scrap. I will take that bribe in a heartbeat. Ah, oh, there's a store. Cool. At uh, the very least, I'll be able to repair some hole damage. What is this stuff? Um, a repair burst. Repairing system damage. Mm, sounds okay. Designed to damage crew members and start fires. And I know these sound great. Okay, well, we'll buy some of these. We'll fix all of our hull damage. I don't really think there's a whole lot else we can do. I mean, we could buy a couple more drones. We just don't really need them. I mean, I would like to upgrade a weapon or something if at all possible. But there's not really a whole lot to do. Okay, well, I'll explore a couple more regions. See if we can't uh, do some stuff. Oh, they're cloned or cloaked. That's really not fun. I think we're going to run into a lot of this cloaking stuff going on. Which is annoying to say the least, but it is what it is. Okay, so these weapons look pretty dangerous. I missed there with my weapons. I'm just going to get a drone out. 
that is worrying. Oxygen's down. I'm going to need to fix that as soon as possible. All right, they're cloaked up again. As long as this oxygen stays up, we're good. I can just power the med bay and have my crewmen heal. Fire started there. I can just open up some doors, take care of the fire that way, the easy way. My weapons are not all that effective against this ship. It must have like a crazy amount of dodge chance or something. I'm missing like almost every single hit. That's not good. We really want, don't want this fire to destroy the oxygen. Oh no. They're always going for the oxygen. It's really annoying, but like it's probably smart at the same time. Because the oxygen just completely wrecks us. Alright, get out of there. They're gonna gradually heal up. I don't know what's going on, man, but I just like my weapons just do not hit this ship. I don't know what it is. Like this ship is incredibly powerful for some reason. Yep, we can't use mind control or anything to help us out. I don't think we've even done any hole damage. Okay, we did get an ion shot off on their weapons. Maybe I just need to go for their shields, because they have so much shields. I will try that. We might have to tank a couple hits from their weapons, though, which I am worried about. Um, yeah, I'll try to just go for the shields. And maybe this is the way to go. I did get a hit off on their shields, which means their shields are lowered down a little bit. A little bit less effective for a bit. Our ion, ion weapon miss. It's not what I like to see. Okay, finally their shields are out of commission. That was probably what I needed to do from the very start there. Okay, they have no shields at all. And there is fire everywhere. Okay, they are so close to dead at long last. That took forever, but at least they're gone. 32 scrap. It's a pretty terrible reward. Um, but we didn't lose much hull damage. It was more just an annoyance factor, I think. So we're going to want to repair this drone up. But that is worrying, because our weapons did almost nothing there. Um, I imagine that ship just had like a, a bazillion evade chance, but it is worrying how ineffective our weapons were against it. Which I have pretty, two pretty solid weapons, so you'd think they would uh, work well, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't think there's a whole lot else I can do to improve them unless we come across a store that has, like, um, a missile weapon for sale, and then I could work on getting that. I don't think there's anything that you can buy that makes your weapons more accurate, to my knowledge at least. I'm going to ignore the signal here. That's probably the smart thing to do. There is a store. We're going to go to the store. We have 186 scrap. Why would you not? Why would you not? Okay, cool. We can finally use our mind control, man. Feels like it's been so long since I've been able to say that. Um, these weapons look very worrying. I'm going to get my drone out, and I'm going to mind control the mantis, because he's the most worrying one. Okay, they did send a dude over to attack us. We can take care of him, though. I really don't want my weapons to go down, so that's why I'm fighting in the weapon room. I landed a hit. Okay, if this guy teleports over, that is not going to be fun. No, he's just repairing. Cool. Um, I'm going to add some power to the med bay. They're trying to escape. Well, that's not going to be happening. Sorry to tell you. This is a much easier fight than our last one. Nope, you're not forgiven. I'm going to mind control this guy. Okay, well, this was a much, much easier to fight than our last enemy that we tried to attack. I really do like this mind control a lot in the areas where we can actually use it. Lots of scrap. Lots of scrap. We have 300 scrap. Oh, this is amazing. All right, let's visit the store. I have so much money to blow, I can buy just anything, really. Um, hacking. Why not? 
This is my ship's final system spot. That's fine. I'm going to upgrade the power bars so that I can get some hacking going. And uh, let's check out the store a little bit more. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing okay on fuel. Do I need any of these dudes? 24. He has faster repair, faster charge when manning shields. Faster charge when manning weapons. What Do I have any guys that are good at weapons? Allison. 20% charge. So she's a direct upgrade over that guy that we could get instead. Well, we'll have hacking now at the very least. Um, I don't think there's anything else that we can buy in this store. Um. Okay, it would cost 100 scrap for another level of shields. And then 70 scrap for two more power bars. We can afford that. Boom. Okay, we have three levels of shields now. I think that's the best thing that we could have done. I mean, I guess we could have got some more evade from upgrading engines, but I believe that was probably the best purchase. Like, I just want to make sure this ship is as strong as possible before we really go for that final boss battle. We're just waiting for Jones to heal up here. Don't worry, I'm not trying to idle or anything. Okay, so we do have hacking now, so we can hack enemies, which I'm all about that. All right, let's go for the exit. And the next sector will be our last sector. Man, I'm kind of excited. No, I'm not gonna explore the asteroid field, man. We are good. The last stand, Federation base and range. Okay. I don't know what he said, but I'm worried. I am very worried. The Federation base. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, because honestly, I have not done this fight before, so we're going to all be learning it together, I suppose, but I'm ignoring refugees. Refugees cannot mess with me right now, man. Um, flagship jumping. I'm. There's a store here. Obviously, I can't afford anything, though, so does that matter? I guess we just have to find this enemy ship. I'm going to attack the enemies here. Yeah, I think we can take them. I actually feel like I'm going to mind control you. I'm going to get my combat drone out because I have enough drone parts. I think we're good. I'm going to uh, concentrate all fire on the weapons. Yeah, let's try it. And the dude in the shields is going to hopefully cause some ruckus there, which is nice. Oh, they do have a defense drone, though. That's worrying me a little bit. I actually want to probably aim for their shields here, right? I I imagine my hacking drone would just be destroyed by their defense drone, so I don't think there's even any point in trying. Okay, they have fires going on. Yeah, this ship is not doing well. I'm just going to concentrate all fire on the weapons. They should be helpless. I'm not going to accept their terms for surrender. I think we can do a little bit better than that. And they are done. Perfect. Got a little bit more scrap from doing that. All right, let's go to the Federation base. I prepare to face the flagship. Yes, sir. Let's go for it. I think we're about as strong as we're going to be. Oh, dear. They have cloaking. Um... Wow, this ship looks strong. They look very, very strong. Alright, so... They sent out hacking on our hacking drones, so I don't know if we're going to be able to do any hacking here. Probably not, right? But, okay, first things first. We're going to mind control on their shields. Definitely. And they have, like, multiple weapon systems to go for. These weapons look scary as, man. So, I'm going to have to focus fire on their shields, though, because there's no way we're getting through this without doing that. I'm going to... This this is like the scariest looking weapon, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to try to put out... Oh, no. Oxygen is going down. I need to fix that as soon as possible. Okay, so the, the Federation ship's shields are going down. Man, I wish I had some cloaking or something. I just don't. Oh no, 
fires everywhere. I need some mind control, but I need my uh, sensors repaired before I can do that. Uh oh, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, well obviously this ship is quite strong. I don't really have anything I can do though. Like my shields are just generally recharging. I need these sensors up and as soon as that happens I can mind control again. Oh no, whole damage coming in. Okay. I can finally mind control again, so I'm going to mind control you. And I I just got to get these shields down, man. Like, there's not... I don't really have any other options here. Okay, the missiles are just wrecking us. I'm going to try to put out the fires the easy way. See how that goes. Ouch, that hurts a lot. Like, the mind control is the most effective thing for us. Yeah. Our ship is just getting destroyed here. Um, I guess we can try to jump away and repair? But if we jump away, um, the flagship will destroy the Federation base. And I'm guessing that we lose the game. It's going to take one, two, three turns just to get to the repair station. And then to get, by the time we got back, we lose anyway. Oh, man. Like, we just need to take some weapons out of the enemy, really, but they're doing so much damage. This is a pretty strong ship. I don't think there's a whole lot we can do, so we're just going to have to accept our fate here and lose. And we, like... Man, didn't even come close. <laughs> Barely made a dent. Did, like, maybe one or two hull damage to the flagship, if that. So I, frankly, am at a loss for words of how it's even possible to fight this thing. But, um... Clearly, the strategy was lacking. Okay, well, at least we got... A new high score by far a new high score we got it to sector eight so we got some new achievements for that but man i have no idea how we're gonna eventually win and this is just on easy difficulty too wow all right well thanks for watching everyone i'll see you next time farewell